Good afternoon, it's Club. Welcome back to channel and welcome back to FS News. It's Tuesday, so that means it is back to Newsday. Sorry, I love the way that actually sounds. Well, here we go with the first FS News video for June. Will this be the month that Farming Simulator 25 will be announced? I don't know. I hope so. I just can say that it won't be in this video. Anyways, though, it is Tuesday, so let's get to some news. In news, we'll be talking about Sid Modding's Gleaner Harvester, plus some news on a new man truck coming from Black Street Modding, so he's not done modding yet. Now, we also have a test list to go over, and there is 86 mods on that list. Question of the day. What is your favorite map on Farming Simulator 22? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, let's start this week off strong with a 400-like video. So remember, before we get to the news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Roll that intro. Let's see his news. We'll play loud, surfing the crowd. Everybody's jumping around. Yeah, that's the place where I want to be. Going on stage Walking back, and here we go with that first piece of news for today. And it's actually from MS Modding. Some news and a few pictures on his updates for Warnerloo Farm. It says he's finished the horse farm and now he's moving on to another section of the map. Each area has taken time as he is making all the models, as he said before. It says, hope you guys like actually the screenshots and he will share more news on the map at a later time. And this is looking pretty good. This European map right here looks like I'll actually have some room actually to move around. Okay, after that one, we got some news from Gian FS just about his next new project. And here it is right here. This is a Mossy Ferguson 7700 series that will be coming very soon. It looks like he's going to have it where you can actually open up the hood, at least from the pictures. Now, the next piece of news is actually from Sid Modding. Well, it's not really news. It's more of just a tease right here. It says, which photo do you choose? These both look really good. And I just can't wait to actually have this actually on our farms. I will say that I really like the one with the field actually in the background. I'm just hoping before the end of the summer, this will finally come out. This is like one of those harvesters that I've been waiting for since probably FS19 days. Now let's get to a map update. And this is actually from Jabalki and it's not about Alma, Missouri. He says, while working on Alma, Missouri update, which he has actually been working on that. We already took a look at the firehouse. And of course, he's going to be trying to add baby animals on that one. But anyways, he has actually taken some time to have fun with his Bosnia map. Here is a couple pictures right here and it's looking pretty good. It's probably going to have all the stuff that we are used to with Chibalki, so I cannot wait to actually see this and actually do something a little bit different than an American map. Now, something that would look actually really good on the map is this right here from Black Sheep Modding, the new project. It says, here is the latest addition that has been sent to the mod up for all platforms. So this has already been sent off. It says, many of you are asking for an old animal transport truck. Here it is. With the man truck, you can transport animals. This is the man 19.403. The price is $90,000. So not bad on that. Power is 403 capacity. It can hold 18 cows, 30 sheep, 40 pigs, 8 horses, or 290 chickens. It also says that the building pack is still being tested by Giants and should be available hopefully soon, which that is that massive, massive building set that includes factories and pretty much any kind of placeable he had on any of his maps. So there you have it right there. There was all the news for today. Like I said, it's kind of a slow day. But anyways, let's get to the testing list we have for today. And there's 86 mods on this testing list. Remember, guys, if they say PC, it does not mean that they're PC only. It just means it is in the first stage of testing. First stage is always PC. Second is console. Third is release. So let's go over some notable ones we have actually on this testing list. We have the Case IH 1455. We have the Fedigari Series 90 indoor fuel tank with pump. We have a few lizards right there. We have a magic carpet. Old Polish Garage. We have Small Barn SJO2 Pack. We have, let's see, Wood Shelter Pack and the WSVS Planter. So it looks like a lot of updates could be coming to the S, sorry, WSVS. Keep saying that. But anyways, let's get to the console side now. We have Bell Storage. We have the Big Bud Series 1. We have, let's see, Concrete Blocks. We have Estancia. We have Hand Tools. We have Kemper Series. We have the Lizard S10 1998. We have MF Fent 4160V Milk Wagon New American. We have Pack Plate BR Solar Collector. We have Three Sided Farm Pack, and we have Weight Bumper. Now, what's going to be tested is 202. Cringe wait time is 10 working days. Also, want to say a lot of people have been asking me about like where is this mod, where is this mod, or why is it on the testing list anymore? If a mod fails on the well, if a mod disappears off the testing list and mods come out that same day and they are not out with it, 
it's more than likely that they failed testing. So they're gonna have to fix it, go all the way back through, and then hopefully being released. Just wanna get that out of the way right there. Okay, so there you have it right there. There was the news and testing list for today. Not that bad on a testing list or on the news. I mean, I cannot wait for that Gleaner Harvester. Gonna look good actually on our farms. Now, what is today's schedule? Today's schedule, we do have a live stream at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, an hour later than usual because I have plans before that. And I will also be streaming actually SnowRunner because a SnowRunner DLC just came out today. Gonna have some fun on that. Like always, if you guys did enjoy the video, a like would be appreciated. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Pulling closer and closer every day to that 97,000 sub mark. Well, I'll see you guys tonight. Peace. She knows how to drive a truck, but she lets me pick her up when we're going dancing.